In this episode of the Total Mix Effects Beginner's Guide, I will show you how you can do a great vocal recording with your RME audio interface. But before we start, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and click also on the notifications button to get all the future updates on our new RME audio interfaces and workshops. The setup is very straightforward. I have connected my microphone with the Babyface Pro via XLR and I am using the first XLR input of the Babyface Pro. Now let's switch over to Total Mix FX. As you can see in Total Mix FX, my first channel, which represents the XLR input, is already getting a signal. If this is not the case, there could be several reasons. First, if we click on the toolbox icon, we can check if there is enough gain on this channel. So we can check this, so we incre increase or decrease the gain. Another reason could be that you are using a condenser microphone. These microphones need what we call 48 volts or also phantom power. Luckily, the Babyface Pro, as many other RME audio interfaces, do have phantom power. The Babyface Pro has phantom power on the first two XLR inputs. And if I click on the toolbox icon in Total Mix FX, I have this settings menu for this particular channel and I can select the 48 volts if I want to and then there should be a signal if I'm using a condenser microphone. Now all I'm just doing now is I switch over to my DAW of choice which is in this case Ableton and I select it on this audio channel the first input channel of the Babyface Pro. Make sure that you have selected the Babyface Pro in Ableton and now I can just record myself. And as you can see, Ableton is creating a waveform, which means that I am recording myself now into Ableton Live with the Babyface Pro and my microphone. 